Hey guys, what's going on? Welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday. I hope you have a wonderful weekend. For today's video, I am doing something I can honestly say I never thought I would be doing. Decided to try out digital bullet journaling. I know. If you know me at all, if you've seen any of my videos, you know that I have been a diehard paper and pen planner person since like ever. But honestly, over the last few months, I've been really struggling to find a good system that is organized while still being as effective as possible. I love bullet journaling and I still journal daily. I will never, especially after this video, <laughs> will never be able to go to like long form journaling. That's like where I'm actually like writing journal entries. We'll never be able to do that on an iPad. But I will say I'm interested to see how using this digital bullet journal works out now that I've set it all up took me way longer than I thought it would. <laughs> I kind of felt like I was starting from scratch, like even learning how to write again. <laughs> it was still fun. I had a good time with it. I'm excited to try it out for the next week, see how it goes. And I thought I would share the entire experience with you because it was truly very interesting. Without further ado, if you're interested in seeing my complete, complete beginner's bullet journaling type video, I'm gonna show you how I set it up. So let's get right into the video. All right, so the first thing I did when I started playing with this app, I did use GoodNotes 5. I created this February cover photo. I actually really like it. I like doing the collage with the photos. I thought that was pretty cool. GoodNotes does have a lot of different covers that you can choose from, which I also liked. Um, so I started out with that February cover photo, and then I added a new page and imported a calendar that I found on Google. So I just searched free printables and found this really cute February month at a glance. So I decided to use that for my monthly overview. Um, I'm basically putting my work stuff in here. So any of my work shifts, things that need to get done for YouTube. Uh, I'm starting my Etsy shop, launching that soon. So I've had stuff in there for that. And then I'm also studying for my personal training certification. So all of that stuff has gone into my monthly log just so I can see everything at a glance. The other thing I really like that's new with the new update on my iPad was you can actually write on the screen and it translates it from your handwritten text to typed out text, which is pretty cool. It was a little glitchy in GoodNotes 5 for some reason. I, I felt like it translated a lot better when I did it, when I was searching on Google and Pinterest. For some reason, it was not reading my handwritten text as well on the GoodNotes app. But overall, it's still a really cool feature and I really like it because it's still faster to me than typing on the iPad. So that was pretty cool. So just going through and entering my YouTube schedule, my work stuff, all of that. I've also been using uh, the split screen on the iPad, which is a feature that I didn't even know existed until really recently, but I've been doing like a split screen where I will pull up the monthly calendar and just look at what I have coming up because like I said, I had been using a million different things. So basically I combined everything into my GoodNotes notebook. <laughs> Clearly I don't know how all this works still because <laughs> you can see me messing with it there, but it was cool to be able to see like my Google Calendar and being able to put it all on here and have everything in one place. So I definitely already feel more organized with that. But yeah, that's pretty much how I'm setting this up. So I'll let you guys just kind of watch how I'm doing that. You can definitely have a good laugh if you pay close enough attention because I clearly don't know all the features yet and still struggle with figuring out how to do things. Um, but I'll just let you guys check out how I'm setting up the rest of my monthly log. So since I really liked how the February one turned out, I decided to do the same thing for the last week of January just so I can start using it this week. I do really like, this is where I kind of figured out that GoodNotes will actually do the auto straight lines, which I love. So you never have to worry about, you know, using rollers and things like that that you would on a normal bullet journal. But literally I'm doing the exact same thing and I just decided to highlight the last week just simply because there's only one week left in the month and I wanted to see this week at a glance too.
then after I finished my monthly logs, I went over to We Heart It and decided to look for some more photos to continue using for my layouts. So I was really looking for some quotes to kind of keep me motivated as far as working on my habits. So I went to We Heart It and found some good quotes for that. I actually like We Heart It better than Pinterest because I feel like they have more photos that fit more of the aesthetic on We Heart It than on Pinterest. Um, but then I also found a free printable habit tracker. So I downloaded that and decided to use that one for my habit tracker layout. Another thing that I really like about GoodNotes is that you can do the freehand crop. So I love putting all kinds of quotes and all of that into my bullet journal normally. And I love that this allows you to just basically drop things into your journal and notebooks wherever you want. So I found this fun quote to add to my habit tracker and threw that in there. Now the next thing you're gonna get to witness is me attempting to write. <laughs> So I honestly struggled so much with being able to write on the iPad and just, uh, it was just a struggle for me. And you'll actually see here, I start writing in a certain color and then I go back and change it. I probably spend the most time trying to write in this. It's definitely going to take practice, um, but I actually learned when I was about... 75% of the way done with this habit tracker that you can actually change the thickness of the pens and all of that and the sharpness so definitely take some time to get to know the features of it before you start writing because it was just the struggle was real and then you can see here I finally switched the colors got the swing of got into the swing of things a little bit and at least kind of found my rhythm it's still definitely going to take me some practice though And then this last layout is my week at a glance for this upcoming week. I definitely feel like I got into the swing of things after, like once I got to this point, it had been probably about two hours, maybe more by the time I got here, but I finally found a decent thickness of the lines that I liked. I learned that I could adjust the thickness, which is what I realized I couldn't do for a while, and finally got into a good swing of things. So for my week at a glance, I ended up taking that January from the January font of the month at a glance that I found the photo of online and just cropped it out so that way I had the January there, and then I added some white uh, shadows, is that the right word? <laughs> to the January so it just pops a little bit more. I thought it looked a little bit prettier. And then I went on Pinterest and we heard it and found some kind of boss babe type quotes. Thought they'd motivate me a little bit. I just realized you can totally see my face too when I go to switch images. <laughs> it's a really flattering angle. But anyways, now that I've found the images that I'm looking for for this week, I'm just going in and inserting them, cropping them with the freehand tool. And like I said, I think this is just a really cool feature. I love that you can do this in good notes. And then just moving them around, placing them where I want them just to, you know, add a little bit of motivation to my week. So anyways, I'm just gonna let the music play and let you guys see the rest of this plan with me. So that's what my very first digital bullet journal looks like. I'm really interested to see if I actually use it this week, if I like it, if I hate it. 
I'm really not sure what I'm gonna think of it. But, you know, I'm open to trying new things. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I hope this was a little entertaining for you because I definitely feel like the struggle was totally real, but I had fun. So, thanks so much for watching and I'll see you guys in my next video.